Today we're going to learn about definitions. A definition is when we take something that is complicated to describe, may take quite a bit of work, and assign a name to that description so that in the future we can use the same name to refer to that thing over and over again concisely. Now there are many different kinds of things that we could define, but today we're going to begin with the most basic kind of definition, which is to define a constant that is also known as defining a variable. Here's a program you've seen before. It's a bunch of formulas that operate on a cat image and a dog image and using different operations to produce new images. And let me remind you that you can use the run button in Dr. Racket to evaluate these expressions so that we end up with a variety of different images. Big cat, small cat, cat over dog, dog over cat, uh, and so on. Cat saying hello, hello by itself. Okay, now this program is a little bit sort of unwieldy because the cat image and the dog image appear so much, so often, so many times in this program, and each time it just takes a whole bunch of room. Okay, so what a definition can help us do is to give a name to the cat image so that instead of having the actual cat image each time we want to use it, we could just use the name of the image instead. Okay, so here's how a definition goes. To make a definition of a constant, which is what we're doing here, this is also called defining a variable because a constant and a variable are actually the same kind of thing in the beginning student language. Let's put a left paren which starts an operation, and the name of the operation is define. Now, define needs two more pieces of information. The first piece of information is a name. For example, maybe we want to give the name cat to this image. So I just picked the name cat. And the second piece of information define needs is what to define the name cat to be. In other words, what does cat equal? So let's say that we just want this original cat image that I took from the internet to be defined with the name cat. So I'm going to copy the image once more, one last time, and paste it here. Okay, and finally a right parenthesis to close the constant definition, and we're done. This is a constant definition. Okay. Now, when you define something, that doesn't change right away what happens when you click the run button. This is exactly the same set of results as we got before. But now we can actually use the word cat to refer to this image. Just by typing cat, I can conjure up this image. Okay, so that's kind of nice, but we could also use the same name cat in the program. So now in the program, in the definitions window, I could replace every occurrence of the cat image just by the name. So I'm just gonna start doing that. I'm gonna delete this cat image and just use the word cat to use that name. And similarly, here, that's a cat. That's another cat, so on. And now my program is becoming more concise just because I don't have to take up so much room each time I want to use the same image anymore. Okay, especially this last bit because the line becomes so much less tall. Okay, and once I've done that, I could still run the same program and it produces the same set of results. All I've done is to give a name to the image and from now on I could just use that name for that image. Okay. I can do the same thing for the dog image. Let's do that. I think that's going to save quite a bit of room. So again, to define a constant, put left paren, define space, the name. Here, I'm going to pick the name dog, another space, and then what we want to define dog to be. So I'm going to copy the dog image and put it here so that from now on, I just need to use the name dog to refer to this image. And I could replace every dog image just with the word dog in my code 
And now, what used to take up a whole lot of room on the screen suddenly takes very little room just because the text is so much smaller. But we still get the same result. So again, when I run this program, I still get all these different different um, images that contain the cat and dog images.